Cracks are major signs of settlement in a building, especially when it is the structural members that are affected. In this video, we will talk about groundwater effect on a building foundation. In other to understand settlement in a building, we must first give honor to a great scientist, Sir John Isaac Newton of the blessed memory. He came up with the third equation of motion, which state that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the case of a building, this simply means that the building exact a force on the ground, in which the force is in form of its own weight. The weight of the building is counterbalanced by the ground or soil. In this case, the building weight is called the action force and the ground that carry the weight in the opposite direction is called the reaction force. In other for the soil to carry the weight of the building, it must exact the same or greater amount of force to the building and other to carry it. But in this video, we will focus on building settlement in relation to ground water effect. Settlement due to groundwater. The soil can be compared to a simple kitchen foam. When it is immersed in water, it increases in size, simply because it absorbs water. However, when squeezed, water is expelled out of the foam, which makes it to shrink and return to its original state. The ground or soil work in a similar manner. Just like the foam immersed in water, a saturated soil is in its unconsolidated state. The downward force exerted by the building caused by the weight of the building causes expulsion of water from the soil. This weight is known as live or imposed load, dead load and wind load. Therefore, all this causes the soil to shrink. This process is called consolidation of the soil. Effect of settlement on a building. The process of consolidation may not occur immediately the structure is erected. Instead, it takes a long period of time which involves years over time as the building is used there is gradual settlement in the foundation of the building. The building weight to the ground is in form of live load, dead load, and wind load. Settlement occur when there is uneven distribution of all the building weight to the foundation. Just like the kitchen foam illustration stated before, in a saturated soil there will be more expulsion of water from the ground from places with more load application than places with lower load application. This process is called differential settlement. This difference in load application causes the cracks on the building. This process of settlement can be seen physically on site as sinking. It can be observed that the side of the building undergoing settlement is sinking into the ground. It can also be viewed as tilting sideways from afar. If you have made it so far watch into this video, please note that it takes a lot of effort to make this documentary. Honestly speaking at a certain point I felt like giving up, in other to encourage me to keep making more videos like this ensure to subscribe to my channel. And if you can't, do well to like this video so that it can reach a larger audience. Your support means the world to me. Together we can build a stronger community. Let us all grow together. God bless you all. Presence of water in the soil greatly affect a building foundation. High water table causes soil saturation. But what happens when the water exit or escape due to gravity and capillary action within the soil pores? A typical example is dewatering. The creation of a borrow pit or a soak away near a building foundation. Water is known to move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. The creation of this pit, close to the foundation and below the height of. The foundation can cause the movement of water in that direction. Therefore, below the building foundation, the water in the saturated soil will move to the direction of the pit and into the pit, the point or area where the soil. In the building foundation exit from is likely to have greater settlement. Due to the expulsion of water, there is an increase in the consolidation process. Ways of Reducing Building Settlement One good way of reducing effective settlement on a building is to use raft foundation. This type of shallow foundation ensure even distribution of the building weight to the ground which means that when settlement eventually set in, it will occur evenly throughout the whole building. Another method will be dewatering the groundwater by creating a pit before the building construction. Like discussed previously that water tend to move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration, this will likely be to the direction of the pit if it is below the water table height. A very good method will be to stabilize the soil before the building construction to increase the bearing capacity of the existing soil. This method is expensive and can take time for the soil to reach its optimum strength. Another method is the introduction of piles into the ground. This will ensure that the weight of the building goes beyond the water table and straight to a good ground bearing strata that can carry the weight of the whole building Although this method is very expensive, it is very efficient. 